Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you this really gorgeous 27 inch monitor from Philips. This is their E-Line range 276 E7 QDAB. It's an IPS display, so really good viewing angles, and I'll show you those in action in a short while. Now, inside the box, you get the monitor itself, a very easy to attach stand. The stand doesn't offer any rotation, but it does allow you to tilt the monitor. There's no height adjustment either, but I found that on my desk, the height was pretty much perfect anyway. So here you can see the tilt adjustment that the stand offers. The stand is made of a really nice quality metal and it provides a nice sturdy base for this 27 inch display. If we look around the back, we've got an HDMI input, we've got a DVI input, also VGA. We've also got some audio connections and then the small port for the power supply. Now the power supply has got an external brick, it is very small and compact, and then you plug a standard IEC cable into that power brick. Now also on the back, in the bottom right hand corner, as the monitor's facing you, we've got this joystick control. It's very easy to access, it acts as a power on off button, but also allows you to use the four way control and navigate your way through the menus. One last thing to mention on the back is it has got a standard visa mount, so you can mount this on a wall or another arm very easily indeed. With the Philips E-Line monitor, you get a power cable, audio cable, and VGA cable inside the box. Now to connect this to my MacBook Pro, I'm gonna be using this Koyatek USB-C to HDMI cable. So this cable has got a USB type C connector on one end and an HDMI connector on the other end. I've tested it with other setups and it works extremely well. And it also works very well with this particular Philips monitor. I'll leave a link to where you can pick up the Koitech cable in the video description. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a 1920 by 1080 resolution, 27 inch display. And this is an IPS display, so it's got amazing viewing angles. Now, although this monitor has got no rotate function, it is very easy to maneuver. I'm just gonna show you this image off axis and you can see it retains the colors and clarity, even at acute angles. Let me just turn it around onto its other axis for you, and it is just fantastic. Very, very good indeed, and really impressive, both on the horizontal and also the vertical viewing axis. Now, with regards to contrast, this offers up a typical 1,000 to one contrast ratio, but also a smart contrast of up to 20 million to one, and a brightness of 250 CDM. The response time is five milliseconds gray to gray. So I wanna show you some video playing back on the Philips E-Line display. Now, before I talk to you about the actual video quality, let's talk a little bit about the speakers and the audio quality. More often than not, in thin, slimline monitors, and indeed televisions as well, you don't get great audio. Well, the speakers inside this particular model perform way above average, so I'm really impressed with that. And I've also showed you the fantastic viewing angles a short while ago. When we're looking at this straight on, and you're looking at this particular video sample that's got a native resolution that matches the 1920 by 1080 resolution of the monitor, I'm super impressed again. The colors are very accurate indeed and the actual lighting to the video is also very uniform across the display. I think the performance for viewing back videos is extremely good and again, way above average. So the fact that we've got a really nice size monitor here with good color accuracy and a five millisecond response time means it lends itself to so many different uses, including of course media consumption like we're doing now, but also general use and of course gaming as well. This is the Philips E-Line 276E7QDAB. It's a great looking monitor and a really good performer. I'll leave a link to where you can pick up one of these for yourself down in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another video very soon.